The president called him Lebanon's last chance to avoid ruin, but Prime Minister-designate Mustafa Adib's bid to form a government has ended in failure. The relatively unknown diplomat quit after less than a month. With the specifications I put, the government formation was doomed to fail. Out of my concern for national unity, with its constitutionality and its credibility, I excuse myself from the task of forming the government. It's a blow to the French President Emmanuel Macron, who led the initiative to appoint a dib after the resignation of the previous government in the aftermath of an explosion in Beirut that killed more than 190 people and ravaged the city. Adib faced pressure to quickly form a new cabinet so it could carry out reforms to unlock billions in foreign aid. But his efforts were blocked by the two main Shia parties, Hezbollah and Amal. They refused to budge on their demand to keep the finance ministry under their control. Lebanon is already facing its worst financial crisis in modern history. It's one of the most heavily indebted countries in the world and it defaulted on its debt for the first time ever in March. The Lebanese pound has lost 80% of its value, and given what happened today, I'm expecting that by Monday, uh, the drop in the value of uh, the lira will be very sharp, and we will be facing, I mean, a real, a real social uh, catastrophe. The president says the country's politicians are committed to deep reforms that the Lebanese people have been demanding for months. Lebanon has committed to the international community to carry out a package of administrative, financial and economic reforms aimed at facilitating the economic recovery to which we all aspired. But many say real change won't happen without strong and unified international pressure. It's a little consolation for the Lebanese people. They're sliding into poverty and are increasingly dissatisfied with their leaders, who they accuse of corruption and incompetence. With anger at boiling point, it's feared one more unfortunate incident could push the country to collapse. Floyd Cush, TRT World.